We're running low on caviar, Elizabeth. We're gonna make sure you get. <laughs> <laughs> you ate like a quarter pound worth of caviar, man. Does caviar have any advantages? You eat it like it's gonna help with something. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada, where champagne comes in waterfalls and casino revenue reaches over $5 billion a year. Two Chains knows the only way to get to know the playground of the rich and famous is with the man who knows them best. He hosted the lifestyles of the rich and famous. He brought you champagne wishes and caviar dreams. He is Robin Leach. Wait a moment, that's me, Robin Leach. Welcome to a very special edition of the most expensive vist. Anything's possible in this city, and who better than Two Chains to get lit with? What up? What up? It's your player partner checking in. Two Chains, and this is the most expensive vist, Viva Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. Viva, Viva Las Vegas. We'll be indulging in the Bally Sterling Brunch. I'm talking about lobster tail. And then we'll be checking out this very, very expensive drink. And then last but not least, they're going to give me poker lessons. That's about to be my next little game right there. So keep it locked. Two chains. True. Oh, man. The legend himself. It's time to meet my opposite number. No, man, it's time to meet the legend. You're the legend. Man, you and all the good rap songs. I love this watch, man. Blink. You showing out, man. I went regular. You did? I mean, it's not, it's still a Rolex. Uh, uh. So look, this right here is the most expensive it's Viva Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. Well, they teamed us together. They right. feel like we um, are over the top. You, yeah, they feel like you you're very flamboyant in the role that you play a lot, and they and they know I'm flamboyant in everything that no, I do. Oh, you're not flamboyant. Uh, well, yeah, I've simmered down a lot. <laughs> I've calmed down a lot. My favorite sound in the world. That's your sound. You talking to a connoisseur? I have expensive taste. Good. Yeah, man. We're gonna bring you some food right now, so you can get a sampling of what we serve. Come on, with it. Let me Start show with. this man how I get out. Where'd the name Two Chains come from? My original rap moniker was Titty Boy, but it wasn't derogatory. I see that look on your face. It came from my mom. Listen, listen, listen. Yeah, I'm listening. Listen, Mr. Leach, listen. Yes, sir. It's looking good, too. Listen, I'm from the South, and Titty Boy is a term that is given to someone who's a spoiled brat, you know, raised by a single mother. It's kind of like a dirt road kind of slang. So they used to call me Titty Boy, Titty Baby, meaning, meaning I was just a, a spoiled brat and really attached to my mom. Today. Yeah, but it didn't go well with the rest of the community and the listener. And so then two chains fell out the sky. And I've always been the one to wear jewelry and fancy jewelry. For the deeper meaning, one chain is for who I am, and another chain is for who I aspire to be. I've been eating lobster every day. Up here. I think this month. Okay, so tell so, us what you got. Tell, so right now it's Sterling Brunch. We have assorted seafood, unlimited caviar. When you come to Sterling Unlimited. Brunch. unlimited. We unlimited. love that word. Unlimited. Caviar. Unlimited. Goes with our champagne. Why is the Sterling Brunch so famous? It's a Vegas tradition at this point. You could eat all the lobster and then they'll bring more lobster. You could eat all the caviar, and they'll bring more caviar. You get lamb for brunch as well? You get lamb, you get prime rib, you get lobster, caviar, champagne. I mean, it's basically everyone's, like, dream to come here. This is one of those places where you just, you know, some people eat once a day. I feel like you got to have a little clout to get in here. We are pretty much booked every weekend. So how much would this, would this brunch cost? It is $105 per person. But you could technically drink a thousand dollars worth of champagne. Oh no, hell, you you do that easy. I can tell you, knock like that off. That's the first hour. Then we got caviar. You have caviar. unlimited caviar. People enjoy the caviar, the lobster. I think this is the opulence of our buffet that brings people back here. I definitely will be back. I'm gonna do Bellini. 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 Is that like bologna? No. What's Bellini? Bellini is this little man. This that's little a mini pancake, pancake not... man. What you talking? The Bellini. There's a culinary lesson going on here today, and then a little caviar on the pancake. Yeah. What's this stuff right here? A sour cream, all at once. Hold on, wait on me. Let me follow the. Oh, you ain't waiting on me. <laughs> ain't no waiting on me. Huh? That's the real stuff. Just like a shot of tequila. What do you think? Well, I got it. It's pretty good. 
You heard of the Waffle House before? You heard of IHOP? I've never eaten waffles in my life. <laughs> I've never been in an IHOP in my life. Until my plane broke down in Italy last year, I've never been in a bus. Whoa! Boy, you can't, man. You are, man, what the hell am I looking up to? You the one, man. Until your plane broke down in Italy, you had never been in a bus before. Right. God don't matter. Bus had other people in it. No! <laughs> that's not, that's very... Get me on the phone with your manager. Don't have a manager. So don't nobody get 20%, that's the key. <laughs> That's the key to being rich. Let's drink to that. This is to Jets in Italy. Broke down buses. Caviar on pancakes. Leanies. That irritates you. It does. That irritates you. B L I N I S. Leanies. B L I N I S. Leanies. B L I. Yes. Oh, uh, you won't believe it. Let me shut this rich ass man down. Y'all ready? You know what Bellini is? It's a Russian pancake. Russia? Yeah, yeah I know. Oh, not. oh. Yes. Who need for breakfast? Propaganda. At the end of the day, Bellini ain't nothing but a small ass Russian pancake, big dog. Big dog, big dog. I want to let you know that. But between me and you, it's a Bellini. Pass the Bellini, please. They're right in front of me. Okay, I'm sorry. Here we go. Would you try one my way with syrup on one of these? No. <laughs> this is the most expensive -est. Viva Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas, Viva, Viva Las Vegas. Million dollar cuisines, you know, lifestyles of the rich and shameless. Some of y'all to be shameless. damn shame. Shameless, I like that. That's about the people who got rich and <laughs> up their money. Lifestyles of the richest, lifestyle, you said. Lifestyles of the rich and shameless. We can pitch it, and I think we can get rich off of it, me and you, and we should do it together. Welcome to another edition of Lifestyles of the Rich and Shameless. We won't be able to get this for much longer. Why? We're, we're running out of the ones Why? because we had very little. I'm a fool with this shit, with this gambling shit, man. <laughs> I'm from Old National Riverdale Road. Got it, man. You gotta look that up. Yeah. What's up, what's up, man? What's going on? Joey. I'm 2 Chains. nice to meet you. Welcome to Fizz Lounge, Las Vegas. This is a nice spot, man. On a Caesar property, man? On a Caesar property. This is a good vibe, a great ambience. Appreciate it. Heard you like expensive things. This is Nathan from Moet Hennessy. Nathan. Oh, OK, I have a little of that sometimes. <laughs> what's up? And this is Guy. Very nice to meet you. All right, now I heard y'all got some expensive liqueur. Tell me more about it. We've got a really expensive uh, cocktail here today uh, called the Fizz Deluxe. It's expensive because we're using two really expensive liquors and one expensive champagne. So starting here, Grand Marnier Quintessence, and it's a blend of that family's oldest cognacs that they have. Dom Perignon, a Pierre Perignon, is actually known as the godfather of champagne. And the piece de resistance is uh, Richard Hennessy. Won't be able to get this for much longer because the eau de vie they go into, we're running out of. What do you of. mean, so, ODB? So the eau de vie, which is uh, French for water of life, it's basically the brandy that goes into blending to make cognac. Mm -hmm. we're, we're running out of the ones Why? because we had very little. When you drink cognac, you're essentially drinking liquid history. It's stuff that survived you know, World War I or World War II, and we're still able to drink it now. You can drink it stuff that's over you know, up to 200 years old, and we're running out of it. Eventually, we won't be able to make it anymore. Some of this stuff is 200 years old, you think? 200 years old plus. I always wanted to question that. <laughs> <laughs> who, 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 who passes the torch to make sure that no knucklehead grandson a granddaughter messes up the unique quality of the family tradition. With Hennessy in particular, they have a tasting committee. OK. And they meet every day. And get drunk. And get drunk. And absorbed. get paid for it. Absolutely. There's <laughs> jobs out there for everybody, man. And I want to know how much each individual bottle will cost, starting with this one right here. Now, you said this is a uh, Grand Moyer Quintessence. Just over 2000 a bottle. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Well, you get bottles like this from not just no regular little looking <laughs> store, huh? <laughs> How much is the, the, the Richard Hennessy? You can find that for about $4,800. Really? Yeah. One of our local liquor stores, I actually saw that one up near 7000 Oh, I could see really, that. Really, bro? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what you sell me one for? We saw that one for 14500 here in the Fist. $14,000, Yes, bro. sir. And then, then, then Dom. Dom you can find for about yeah, $400, maybe yeah, $500 Dom. a bottle. They have Dom in 
some Walmart sometime. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to start off with just a little bit of egg white, about a half an ounce. Egg white? It's a texture thing, so it adds silkiness and body to your cocktail. Uh, we're gonna add about three or four dashes of lemon bitters, about a half ounce of lemon juice, about a half ounce of Monin Rose syrup, and then we're gonna get to the good stuff. Grand Maillet Quintus. Yep, we're gonna do about three quarter ounce of this, and then we're gonna do one ounce of the Hennessy Richard. Close it on ice. Man, who thought to put together a drink? This drink, two, three thousand. This four, five thousand three different expensive-ass drinks to make one expensive-ass drink. For garnish, we're going to take a rose petal. Oh, man, you shouldn't have, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and to add insult to injury, we're going to sprinkle this with 24 karat gold flakes. That's cool. For man. you. Enjoy. And this luxurious drink that you've made for me, how much would something like this cost? Uh, we sell that here for 2500 <laughs> it's a twenty-five hundred dollar cocktail. So this twenty-five hundred. Yes, sir. And if you would have made one for both of y'all, we'd be at seventy-five hundred. But that's why y'all ass ain't drinking none. Like that. <laughs> Got that gold on it, man. Y'all make sure y'all get a good look at this, man. I kind of want to take a picture of that myself. Oh, that's um, eh. No, oh, no, that ain't come out right. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh. Okay. So, one. So one thing that I've noticed since doing this show is that a lot of people add gold to drive up the cost or the price of whatever they're selling. Seriously, like I've had gold on Sundays, hamburgers. I've eaten so much gold. I'm on. A, I'm on a, a solid gold diet, bro. <laughs> I hate to do this toast to the air, but toast. What do you say? That's all right, man. Woo. <laughs> Strong, too. Bro, who the hell drinks that much, like, bro, fortune? You just did. <laughs> You didn't call, so I get to win your chip. Wait, wait, wait. And I'm going to put a point. Welcome to the Green Felt, where entire fortunes are won and lost on a turn of the cards. In the early 19th century, it was called Brag, or the Lying Game. But today, the 70 million Americans who play it, they call it Oka. All right, what up, what up? It's your player partner checking in. I'm here with my man. You want to introduce yourself? I'm Jack Effel. I have come here oh. on the most expensivest show. That's right. To show you what the most expensivest poker game is like. And I'm going to be real with you. I have never, and I mean never, people, seen a chip that has $1 million on it. You got a few of those. So that's balling. And like you said, I have a few of them. You got 30 million of those. You have 30 million chips in front of you right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, that's good. I'm going to be real with you guys. I never really got involved with poker. I'm more blackjack, roulette, or craps, really craps. I've been interested in trying to learn this for a very long time. The difference between all the games you've been playing and poker is that in all of those games, you're playing against the house. When you're playing poker, you're either playing mano a mano or with other players or in a big tournament with a whole lot of players. The World Series of Poker main event that was won this year by Scott Blumstein, he won $8.15 million on a $10,000 buy-in. But they had to outlast 7,200 players to do it. So start over, like, right. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a poker virgin. That's good. We don't break you go, in right. Go, go slow. We have Whitney, and now Hello. Whitney is a professional Chicken. poker dealer. <laughs> She's dealt the World Series of Poker main event final table. Really? Before. You've been on TV, ESPN before? She's been before? live yeah. on ESPN. Right, uh, she's going to give us each two cards. 
So what am I supposed to be looking for? The best hand in Hold'em is two aces. Maybe you want to represent you have two aces, but you really don't have two aces. Okay. You That's bet where some... the poker face came That's from. That's where the poker face came from. You'll have the first action to either call an extra million, you could raise, put in more chips, or you can fold and we'll deal another hand. I'm a foe, I'm a foe, I'm a foe, I'm a foe. What but yours was? So see, I had a jack too, but see, I only had a deuce. So you had a better high card than me, see? But you didn't call, so I get to win your chips. Wait, 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 and wait I'm you gonna just put took a million dollars from me, though. But I thought I was quitting. I thought I was saying I'm throwing, yeah. I thought I wanted to rematch. Well, you are. So now you're gonna put up two chips, and she's gonna deal us another hand. Wait, 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 wait. So now I'm gonna call a million. Yeah, I'm with that. Two right, more that's million. four million. So I'm gonna call two million more because you might be bluffing. Have you got anything? Have you got anything? I don't think so. I think you got me. I think I'm gonna give you this one. I bluffed him. You poker bluffed face. Him. Poker Shake. face. Poker face all in my nose. Look at my nostrils. <laughs> <laughs> See, this game's right. easy. Look at I these. just saw a crib down here I wanted to get. They want $5 million for it. That's yeah, well, I think you just beat me out of four of them. I'm there. trying to get a Bugatti. That's I another. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, so you got That's a house and a Bugatti in Vegas. They're leaving me with $3 million. <laughs> all right. All right. right now, I'm kicking your ass. <laughs> baby, look, tell my hand. Tell my hand right now. Thank you, baby. I'm a fool with this shit, with this gambling shit, man. I'm from Old National, Riverdale Road. Got it, man. You got to look that up, man. Here we I know. Go. Watching you I'm going to push all mine in, in the dark. He didn't look. In the dark. Okay. Because y'all done some swindling stuff. <laughs> All right. We're going to turn him up, and we're going to see what we have. Look at there. Whoop his ass, titty boy. Ah, Whoop his ass, ass, titty boy. God. Whoop his ass, Goosey. Look at that. Look at that. Whoop his ass. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Right now, we got a tie. She tie. did something. I just won this whole pot. No, you didn't. Man, replay. Rewind <laughs> the footage. Whoop his ass, Goosey. You look at that. Look at that. Look, look, what do you mean we got to split so, it? So watch, best five cards. Aces and nines with a seven. That's the best hand you can make. That's the best hand I can make. We going to split. You should have won. Baby. Oh, you, you should have won. won. That's all you we need. Won. Make sure you, baby, talk to this camera. You should have won. He is like the chairman of World Series Poker or something. And I've just been sweeping his ass. I've been just mopping him right up. I'm going to solve one of okay. the most expensive. Is all right. Viva Every, Las Vegas. All right. Thank you, man. Then we get a little handshake Thank here you, like this. That's what we do in the winter shot. It's that I'm going to change my phone number look. <laughs> <laughs>